Hello and welcome to Snowrunner New Mod. I'm UK here, my age weight, and today we are having a look, an exclusive first look at Iceberg 101's new creation. Now, this is a Defender 110, and he's got the console version of that as well. Which, if you go to Mod IO, this is the you'll see it, it's all the unbranded one, but if you've got the PC, you will get the branded one. So, basically, I've got two versions out this one. It's just a base model and all I did was put autonomous on it and then we got the other one which has got a huge amount of options available for it as you can see it looks absolutely fun bloody tastic really nice bit of kit I've been messing around with this for a few weeks now and this will be released in the morning so it'll be up for console it'll be ready for PC tomorrow morning Sunday morning so probably about what 16 hours or so something like that now going inside he's got all his normal refinements with the working gauges and what have you he's even got that one working actually we've got mirrors and then we've also got the CB in there now that is a radar so you click on the radar and of course we're in immersed mode so it won't come up but do that does the radar so he's added that to that which is awesome now quite a few options for it we're we'll going to have a play with it first let's go into the standard one first so change try a few like your vanilla this is the basic engine basic gearbox uh, I think it was the yeah five speed it is quite nippy this gearbox uh, we we'll go down and put it through some of the mud and you've got the suspension working pretty well on it really chuffed with the way it goes now we haven't got all-wheel drive on have we no here we go let's put the all-wheel drive on and it's really nice balanced vehicle oh where are you going get away from that one. Oh, oh we're in the bloody way now come on reverse that but I've been doing a lot of climbing with it I'm on my H8 testing map and there's quite a lot of contours on this map you see got quite a lot of hills and stuff so I like using it and look at that we get stuck on a rock let's get up there so this is the stock suspension as well and this is the first time I've been out in this one where I've always used the tweaked version but it is a little bit lacking on power so just put the diff lock on I think we'll be fine no issues with it now if you want access for this now then that would be if you join um, Iceberg Delta Iceberg 101 and it's Delta Gaming patron you can get his latest mods as and when they happen right there we go so yeah this one personally it is the base game engine but for me it could do with a bit more power but it's getting the job done let's get up to this next bit just here put it into auto see how it goes in auto actually picks up a bit of momentum and nope I think we're going to need diff lock on but attention to detail on this one is the same as all icebergs creations and uh, yeah he's done a fantastic job right is he going to get up there we got winched on something we'll get up there with a the winch whoa whoa shit whoa all right we lost it Right, let's leave that one there. Let's jump in the other one. Well, this one's slightly got a bit more power and loving the add-ons for it. And of course, with that, the CB as a radar, it's ready to go. It's there as standard as well. And it's been flying at these cliffs. I'm not, am I in? 
all-wheel drive whoa what are you doing what are you doing stop I turned my engine off now why I did that let's try that again going to a bit low release the handbrake all-wheel drive typical isn't it I've got that much momentum now right let's try that hang on into auto and here we go right this is the lifted one as well and he has got crawler options and then the standard version ah, that's better let's get up there but loving all the add-ons done to it now the console version won't have quite as many add-ons as the PC version he's added a lot to that and you won't get all of them on console you will get quite a few so I'll tell you what let's put it into low and a nice controlled descent but the suspension working beautifully to a bit of low plus some of these rocks are a pain in the ass and let's get it climbing but it goes through the mud any thick mud you're going to get uh, you will get bogged so it's not OP but it's got plenty of power uh, absolutely loving it I've been using it the last couple of weeks now and well I've been dying to do a video and there it is a uh, huge amount of colour choices for it as well and look we're going to get up here without any ease you hear my dog snoring away she seems to make more noise when I start doing videos I love this terrain on this map put it into auto and see what happens we are nearly there now he's also done a trailer and I didn't have that turned bloody on did I so we'll show you that when it comes out on console we go through what different options are available for it but overall this one love it and when you go into free cam you can just see exactly what it's like it looks beautiful and a fantastic job now I've, I've got a couple of defenders myself which I'd like to get done I'm a bit stuck but uh, I'll be using this one as a well this is the sort of standard I want him to come out like because I think you guys are going to be really happy with this bad boy and it's going to be called the offender 110 so I'll tell you what let's go over to the garage and I'll show you what options are available because there's a huge amount of options so there it is the Land Rover Offender 110 or the Offender 110 and we've got three different engine options where you've got a base one which you've been driving around in and then you've got the 2.5 300 turbo diesel and then the 2.5 TD5 model as well so I haven't had a go with that one yet and then we've got the four speed crawler five speed now that one's quite a quick gearbox the six speed is on a par with the off-road one as well and then we go move down to suspension got crawler tune lift balance suspension and then them raised on there and tires quite a few tired of different choices on there and he has kept them pretty sort of basic he hasn't gone over the top pretty realistic just like that that and then we move on to your winch he's got your normal tunnel sky extended and then the, your stock if you so want that unlock diff and then we've got the wheel carrier on the back the hood mounted wheel just like that and then a spare wheel on the back and then we've got a snorkel three different snorkels available frame add-ons now he's got the defender roll cage like that and then you've got two different access roof ladders and then he's also got the overland roof rack and then we move on to the next load of choices and we have now the, some of these you won't have all 
them for console but we go through the difference they won't be a huge amount we've got the dominator bumper the inferno rear bumper option one option two so there's five different ones available there and then we've got the rock sliders we've got five different ones available i like those ones there turn them on turn them off and then we go on to the quartermaster's cargo supplies and this is where he's added loads of different frame add-ons so we've got small boot supplies we've got the fire extinguishers on the side there i like those then you've got the pickaxe with the shovel jerry cans on the side the recovery boards and the mountain all the mountain just like that and then you have large supplies web tow sling and a tow rope and you check the tow rope out when you're driving along with it as well let's just go back with i always do that come back out then we've got the personalized plates if you're part of patreon you can have your personalized plates on there and then we have the interior upgrades then interior upgrades we've got the cb radio in there which is a radar unit stickers it's got a few of those on there just like that and then the front bumper wise you got quite a few different options that's the one it came with this model and then we've got these other ones just here and custom tuning we've got the headlight grills the overlander cb aerial which is a mess the extended fender flares on there the lrd fender flares And I don't know what that does. I keep meaning to say to him about that one. And then we have the branch deflectors. Or the saw, the side door guards. Which you see on there just like that. And then lighting wise. We've got halo lights for on the front there. And then he's got the dual LED light bars. The big light bars. And then he's got the normal spots on there. And then he's got a light on the back as well. And then rims. I don't think. Yeah we can change rims on there huge amount of color choices for it as you can see so there should be plenty for everyone whatever you want i do like the blue right and then all your bobbleheads and that are all on there ready to go so that is the new land rover defender or the offender 110 now this it was a commission mod so luckily it's coming to console and hopefully it should get approved straight away the last one what i spoke did got approved pretty quickly so it'd be eight in the morning you'd be able to hit it for the subscribe but even for console and then when when it comes out it'd be there ready on mod io for you i hope you've enjoyed this first look might even do a little bit of a stream on a bit of trailing with the old land rovers later actually we'll see how time gets on and if you did enjoy it then smash those like buttons for me and if you are new to the channel then why not take a hit on that subscribe and you won't miss any future content thanks for watching till the next time goodbye